So you're thinking of moving to Somerville, South Carolina. But before you do, you want to know the good, the bad, and everything else about this town that you might need to consider first. If this is you, you've come to the right place because today we're going to spill the sweet tea about Somerville, South Carolina. Think of Somerville like Charleston's charming little sister. Beautiful, growing fast, but still figuring out its own quirks. You ready? Let's talk about the pros and cons of living in Somerville with a little humor and plenty of insider info. Let's go. I'm Deneen Gary, a realtor in Charleston, South Carolina and the surrounding areas, and I love helping people just like you find home. Whether you're buying, selling, or simply exploring the market, I'm here with honest advice and local insights. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss out on the latest happenings in the low country. Whether you're thinking about moving to Somerville or you're just curious about what all the fuss is about, we've got a lot to cover. And trust me, there's more to this town than azaleas and traffic. Let's start with one of Somerville's biggest perks, affordability. Compared to Charleston, Somerville is like that amazing thrift store find. It's stylish, but you don't need a second mortgage to afford it. Somerville's average home price is around $400,000, which by Charleston standards, feels like a steal. And here, you're not crammed into a tiny apartment. No, you get a yard, space for a grill, and maybe even a pool if you're lucky. So if you're dreaming of Southern living without breaking the bank, Somerville's got your back. Also, a yard in Somerville is like gold. You get enough space to play catch, throw a barbecue, or just watch your neighbors awkwardly mow their lawns while you sip sweet tea and feel superior. Somerville is the perfect mix of small town charm and modern conveniences. It's got all these cute little touches like tree-lined streets and shops that make you want to slow down, sip a latte, and pretend you're in a Hallmark movie. Seriously? I half expect to bump into a Christmas tree farmer who's also a secret prince. Just a little side note on the affordability aspect. If you want to move to the Charleston area and really want to have a historic home, but don't quite want to pay the downtown Charleston prices, Somerville has these gorgeous historic homes in old Somerville that are just absolutely breathtaking. The neighborhoods have old live oak trees over the roads. Definitely something that you want to take a look at if you're looking for a affordable historic home in the area. Somerville's historic downtown will charm the socks off of you. You'll find everything from adorable boutiques to cozy cafes, plus the Flower Town Festival where the whole town turns into one giant garden party. Just don't expect a royal proposal unless that's in your real estate budget. But don't worry, you won't have to sacrifice convenience. Somerville's got all the big names too. Need to stock up on 32 rolls of paper towels? BJ has you covered. Forgot your kid's school project until 9 p.m.? Target to the rescue. Okay, here's where things get less than charming. If you're commuting into Charleston, you better make friends with podcasts, audiobooks, or mindfulness, because Somerville traffic can test your patience. It's like, oh, you thought you were making it to work on time? That's cute. I-26 during rush hour is like a parking lot where no one can find their way out. If you're planning to commute, expect your 30 minute drive to take, well, however long the traffic gods decide. Somerville is a family friendly dream. It's the kind of town where you don't just know your neighbors, you borrow their lawnmowers and share your Christmas cookies with them. Somerville has top notch schools in the Dorchester District 2 system and it's full of family activities everything from sports leagues to community events. So if your kids get bored here, you might want to check their pulse. And the best part, Somerville is a safe, tight-knit community. You'll see block parties, neighborhood cookouts, and probably way too many world's best dad aprons. Nature lovers rejoice. Somerville is surrounded by parks, rivers, and hiking trails. Whether you're into bird watching, kayaking, or just pretending to exercise while you throw, stroll through a park, Somerville has it all. Francis Beidler Forest, Givens Ferry State Park, and plenty of other spots offer a quick getaway into the great outdoors. And if you're a fan of taking Instagram-worthy sunset pics, this is your place. 
Plus, you're only about 40 minutes from the beach. So when you're done with your nature walk, you can trade your hiking boots for flip-flops. Somerville's basically the best of both worlds. Forest one day and beach the next. Let's talk about summer. You think you know heat? Somerville says, hold my sweet tea. When it's 95 degrees and the humidity is at like 100%, you'll feel like you're walking through a steam room. It's not just hot, it's the kind of hot that makes you question why you ever left air conditioning or the north. If you're thinking about taking a mid-July stroll, just know you'll need a shower afterwards, even if it's just to check the mail. But don't worry, every house here seems to have a pool, or at least you'll wish yours did. And if you wanna add a pool, let me know, because as they say in the real estate business, I know a guy. Now, Somerville isn't just small town charm. It's becoming a foodie's paradise. From Southern barbecue to fancy coffee shops, Somerville is stepping up its food game. Let's just say this isn't your grandma's casserole anymore. You've got everything from craft breweries to hip bistros, and don't even get me started on the farmer's market. You'll be filling your bags with fresh produce before you even know what to do with it. It's like, yes, I need 10 tomatoes, obviously. So if you're a foodie or even just a coffee enthusiast, Somerville will keep your taste buds entertained. A lot of people say that Somerville is the birthplace of sweet tea. I don't know where that com comes from or if it's really true, but in June of 2016, they did have the world's largest sweet tea. Somerville is growing fast, like, did a new development just pop overnight? Fast. It's a sign of progress, sure, but if you moved here for that sleepy small town feel, you might be in for a surprise. New homes and shopping centers are great, but some longtime residents worry that Somerville's losing a bit of its small town charm with all of the new development. If you're nostalgic for the days when Somerville was just a quiet little town, you might feel like you've stepped into a real life version of SimCity and someone keeps hitting the build button. Man, I used to spend hours playing that game. On the flip side, more homes and businesses mean more options for you, but it also means more traffic, more people, and let's be honest, probably more HOA fees. So weigh the pros and cons before jumping into a rapidly developing area. One of the best parts of Somerville and why so many people love it is the community spirit. People here actually talk to each other. It's like a town-wide version of Cheers where everybody knows your name or at least knows your dog's name. You'll find everything from neighborhood block parties to local events where everyone comes out and gets involved. Whether it's charity events, the Flower Town Festival, or just chatting with your neighbors over the fence, there's always something happening that makes you feel like part of the family. So if you're tired of feeling like just another face in the crowd, Somerville's community vibe will definitely make you feel at home. Now, for all you night owls out there, here's a con you should know. Somerville's nightlife isn't exactly poppin'. After about 9 p.m., things start to get pretty quiet. Like, if you're looking for a place to party until 2 a.m., well, you're probably gonna wanna head to downtown Charleston. There are a few late night spots and breweries, but most of Somerville is more into early dinners and Netflix binges. And honestly, by the time you finish sitting in traffic on I-26, you might be too tired to go out anyway. So if you're a night owl, you might need to adjust your schedule or just really get into early morning coffee runs. For families with kids, the school system here is a major win. Dorchester District 2 schools are some of the best in the state. Whether it's academics, athletics, or after school activities, Somerville schools give your kids a solid foundation. The schools here are a big draw for families with a strong focus on education and plenty of extracurriculars to keep the kids busy. And if you're one of those parents who's really into comparing test scores, trust me, you'll be impressed. So if having great schools nearby is high on your checklist, Somerville's got you covered. All right, I asked you all to send in questions about Somerville and I've got some really great ones here. So let's dive in. First question, what's the cost of living really like? Well, as we mentioned, homes are more affordable than Charleston, but keep in mind that prices are rising with all the new development. Second question, is Somerville good for retirees? Absolutely. With its slower pace, community vibe, and healthcare options, it's a great spot to kick back and relax, 
Plus, with more than 155 and over community, Somerville has all the options for you. Thanks for sending in your questions. Keep them coming in the comments below, and maybe I'll answer yours in the next video. So there you have it, Somerville, South Carolina, in all its charming, traffic-filled, sweet tea sipping glory. Whether you're moving here for the schools, the affordability, or just the chance to finally own a yard, Somerville's got something for everyone. Just remember to pack your patience for the traffic and a fan for the summer heat. My name is Deneen Gary, the Southern Living Yankee, and a realtor in Charleston, South Carolina, and the surrounding areas, and I love helping people just like you find home. Whether you're buying, selling, or simply exploring the market, I'm here with honest advice and local insights. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos about life in Charleston and the rest of the Low Country. Who knows? Maybe we'll see each other around town soon. Thank you again for joining me. I'm Deneen Gary. So long for today. I've always wondered if my husband's family is related to the people that own or started Garen's Pharmacy. You know how everyone always changes the names like from what they came from Europe originally? So I've always wondered about this. If you're in Somerville, I highly, highly recommend stopping by Low Country Olive Oil. They have all kinds of balsamic vinegars and then also different flavors of olive oils. I love to use them and make a homemade salad dressing that's maybe just a little bit healthier. Thank <laughs> you.